Okay. Okay. Today I'm going to teach about the same thing, the SPM MX paper for this year, and then this is question number four. Yeah, because it has been quite long. I haven't uploaded any videos. Sorry for that. Because recently I'm really, really, very busy. Okay. So okay, let's start. Have a look on the question four. Okay. Okay, this is question 4. This is the question for statistics. And then this one is quite simple. Okay, let's have a look. It said table 4 show the sum and, su and sum of the square of x where x is the monthly income. Okay, in RM and Mr. Ahmad for the first 6 months of the year 2012. Okay, this is sum of x. The values of sum of x and then the values of sum of x squared. Okay, find the standard deviations of his monthly income. Okay, first he asks you to find the standard deviation. Okay, how to find standard deviation? So before you start to find standard deviation, you have to know about the formula for standard deviation. Okay, standard deviation, I use short form. Okay, I write like this. Okay, standard deviation will equal to square root of sum of x squared divided by n minus sum of x divided by n squared okay this is the formula for standard deviation okay so now we got sum of x squared and then we got sum of x but then we need to have n in order to solve this question so first very important information here you say mr ahmad for the first six months of the year first six months means what n will equal to six so here, from here, what I can know is n will equal to 6. And then sum of x is given. So sum of x will equal to 1, 2, 2, 4, 0. Oh. And then sum of x squared is given also. Sum of x squared will equal to 2, 4, 9, 7, 5, and then 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now we got all this information, just substitute in, you can get the standard deviation. This is a symbol for standard deviation. Lah. Alright, very you got a square here. Okay, this is standard deviation. Okay, so I just substitute it quickly. Okay, so yeah, just put in. So equal to square root of sum of x square will be two four nine seven five zero 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 divided by six minus one two two four zero divided by six square. Okay, I just press the calculator. Since this is three mark, I think yes, this will be square root. Okay, this one will be square root of two four nine seven five zero 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 divided by six and then minus one two two okay minus square root of Okay, minus square root of one two two four zero divided by six, and then square. It. Okay, so the answer you will got is thirty. I think you will got square root of nine hundred. Okay, you just press one by one, and then at the end you will get the standard deviation will equal to thirty. Okay, this one is because I straight away press the calculator press my scientific calculator so I can straight away get the values of 30 here alright okay then okay we go to the second part okay okay Rem remember for, for this one uh, this one don't press wrong this one you just press 1 2 2 4 divided by 6 and then only you square the answer okay okay go for the second part what he say here he said if Mr. Ahmad son give him 500 every month during that period find a new means and new standard deviation of his monthly income okay okay when he give him 500 for every month mean plus another 500 okay this one will only affect the mean he won't affect the standard deviation 
Okay, standard deviation only when multiple, only when multiple happen, you only, uh, then only you, you affect the value. If give him the 500 mean only plus, okay, so that means the new mean will plus a 500, but then the new standard deviation is still stay with the old standard deviation. He won't affect the standard deviation. Okay, so what we got is, okay, we find a mean here. Okay, we find a mean. Okay, mean will equal to sum of x divided by n. Mean 1, 2, 2, 4, 0 divided by 6. Then you just press a calculator. Okay, 1, 2, 2, 4, 0 divided by 6. 2, 2, 4, 0 divided by 6. So you have got... 2040 okay this is the mean okay this is the mean okay now he say every month he will give you 500 means six months he will give him 3000 3000 you divide by six you will get back the means is 500 also so the new means the new means just 2040 plus 500 then you will got 2540 this is the new mean and then he asked for the new standard deviation is still the same 30 okay because he didn't multiple anything okay unless he's, he says uh, the money income he like double up or triple up then you have to multiple but then just ignore the plus and minus unless the plus and minus the value is very big it's very big then only will affect the standard deviation like 500 is not big enough to affect the standard deviation so the standard deviation will remain 30 okay i think that's all for question number four okay then we go to the question number five okay question number five will be a very easy question which is vector i think most of the students can do very well in vector anyways i just go through quickly okay it's given that a b equal to negative 3i plus 2j and a c equal to negative 7i plus 5j find b c okay you want to find b c so first thing what you need to do is okay i write down a b first which is given negative 3i plus 2j and then AC will equal to negative 7i plus 5j okay now you want to find BC so in order to find BC in the vector we got a ad additional method which is BA plus AC we can get BC because A and A we can simplify then we left BC Okay, this is the additional for vector. Okay, so, okay, BA, you do not have BA, but then you got AB. So, BA means you add a negative for AB. So, will be negative of negative 3i plus 2j plus AC. You got AC is negative 7i plus 5j. Okay, now we multiply the negative in, you will got 3i plus uh, 3i minus 2j uh, this one will be minus 7i plus 5j i and i you can settle j and j you can settle so 3i minus 7i you got negative 4i okay and then negative 2j plus 5j you got positive 3j okay that's all for bc okay it's very simple and then go to the second part what he want find the unit vectors of the uh, in the directions of bc okay you got the bc and then you need to find unit vector okay unit vector actually is very simple but then you need to remember you need to remember the formula okay unit vector will equal to okay unit vector okay the formula is something like this okay one over square root of x square plus y square and then multiple uh, x i plus y j okay okay what is this okay the x i and y j actually is is something like this negative 4 is x 
and then 3 is y, 3 is y. So xi means negative 4i. La. Yj means 3j, 3j, okay? And then 1 over x squared plus y squared is what? Negative 4 squared plus 3 squared. Just take the value in front. So we'll, what you will got is 1 over negative 4 squared plus 3 squared and then square root the whole thing. Okay, and then multiple negative 4i plus 3j. Okay, this one obviously you learn about uh, Pythagoras, you will know this is actually is 5. So this is 1 over 5 negative 4i plus 3j. Okay, if you want to multiple in, can also. This one you get negative 4 over 5i plus 5 over uh, 3 over 5j. Okay, that's all for unit vector. I mean you just substitute everything because you want the unit vector of BC so we take the values of vector BC then we can get the unit vectors of BC okay is that simple okay then we go to the second part part B okay now he says what now he says given that AD is PI minus 15J where P is a constant and AD is parallel to BC okay when you see AD parallel to B, BD, first thing come into your mind should be what? You should be right, AD will equal to lambda BC. Okay, okay, lambda is just some constant value, mean it can be any number, 1 over 2, 3 or 4, or any number. Okay, I just use the symbol uh, lambda to represent it. Okay, and then we got the vector for AD here. And then we got the vector for BC, which is defined just now. Okay. Okay, okay, sorry for the sub interrupt here. Okay, so therefore, okay, we need to find, okay, we need to find out what is the values of P, which is what he want here. Okay, so, okay, PI minus 15J, PI minus 15J, okay, so I just write PI minus 15J will equal to lambda multiple BC. What is BC? negative 4i plus 3j which is we find it just now okay we find it just now yeah negative 4i plus 3j okay for bc okay then okay then what we need to do is we need to compare i and i and j and and j with j mean we compare the coefficient so like this we can straight away uh, get the value of lambda if you compare j we cannot compare P first, uh, compare the I first, because this one you got two unknown. You do not know P and you do not know lambda. If you compare this one, you cannot get the values of lambda, but then you can write down. Okay, when we're comparing, we are ignore the I and ignore the J, because now we are comparing I. Okay, now I'm comparing the I first. Okay, so P will equal to lambda multiple negative 4, negative 4 lambda. Okay, this one we, we're comparing the I. And then if you're comparing J, what we will got is negative 15 will equal to lambda multiple 3. Okay, so when we're comparing J, actually it can help us to find lambda because negative 15 and 3, so 3 I can move here, will become divide 3, so lambda will get negative 5. After we got lambda, we substitute back here. Then we can got P. Okay, so I substitute negative 5 into the the, the lambda here so p will equal to negative 4 multiple negative 5 then we will got positive 20 which is the value for p okay so the key the key here is when you see about parallel when he say about parallel you must be able to write out this one ad will equal to lambda bc then you can easily solve if you understand about this one okay this one not necessarily write lambda. You can write m or you can write k. You can not write any any alphabets, which is convenient. Okay, okay. Later I will I will record another two more questions. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Okay. Thank you.